Now there's very specific notation that comes with integration. Let's say we needed to integrate something like uh, 4x squared plus 5x minus 3. Now, if you're going to integrate this, then we use a notation that looks like this. We have an integral symbol that looks like an elongated s and actually represents an infinite sum, and that's why s is used for sum. So an integral, and we've got to tell ourselves that we are integrating with respect to the value x, or the variable x, sorry. Okay? And these act as bookends. Okay? They remain fixed, telling you what you are integrating. Okay? You cannot do anything with them. They must be there and remain there okay? as, are, as they are. So when we integrate, we can now say the integral of 4x squared plus 5x minus 3 with respect to x, so you, that's how you would word it, is equal to, well you add 1 to the power and divide by the new power, so we get 4x cubed over 3 plus 5x squared over 2 minus 3x, and we must have that constant of integration c. Okay? Um, and that is how the integration notation is used. Um, this is known as an indefinite integral because we are not yet working with limits on the integral, and that's going to be introduced later. Okay? So this is an, an indefinite integral, and that is how the notation is used. It is used just as bookends, and we don't do anything with them.